this dude here is my friend Derek. I hit him up to create this fun jump illusion effect just so that we can make more content for our social media pages. We shot and edited this thing in under one hour. Today I'll be showing you guys why I chose to make this video and a little bit of behind the scenes to see how I put it together. <laughs> Welcome to how I made this. Yeah, 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 okay. What's going on guys? My name is Brian Francisco. I run a YouTube channel where I create really cool fun effects, commercials, and also teach you guys how to create them while having fun in the process. I'm gonna release a video at 480p. <laughs> So the video I'll be going over today is this illusion effect here that I created on my channel where my friend Derek looks like he's jumping over house, but really he's just jumping a couple of feet in front of him. So for most of the winter here in Canada, we were placed in a strict stay at home mandate. So a lot of the videos I was creating was either at home or here at the office. It gets a bit boring at times since I'm shooting at the office, usually all by myself. But just recently they started loosening up on the rules here. So I jumped at the first chance that I had to shoot outside with one of my boys, even if it was just a really short session. Yo, um, you down to shoot something today? Um, yeah, sure. So we just film everything in front of your house and probably take like 15 minutes. So the inspiration for this effect comes from this fun video here by Nelson Campana, a very creative individual who creates some really fun stuff on his social media accounts. So what I think he did here was jump a couple feet in front, then he used some type of masking tool to make it look like he was behind the house and jumped way over it to the front of the house. It's a really awesome illusion effect, but it's also something pretty easy to do that I feel like a lot of people will enjoy trying it out themselves at home. So I'm just about to go see Derek right now. Um, it's gonna be a quick shoot. It shouldn't take us more than 15 minutes to shoot this whole thing, even though it's gonna be a quick shoot. It'll be nice to see friends again. So to create something like this, you don't really need a lot of gear. The main thing I used was a camera and a mini tripod to place the camera on top of. You can even do this using your smartphone and just any cheap tripod you have laying around at home or even ones that you can find at the dollar store. So all I did here was place my camera on the tripod and made sure that it was low enough on the ground to capture the sky, the house, and a little bit of the pavement in front. Before we actually started shooting it, we did a couple practice shots to make sure that we knew exactly what we were doing for the entire continuous clip. So around the fourth take, we got what we needed. So basically, Derek just had to crouch down, he had to make sure that he was below the outline of the house. Then he got up, looked around, and jumped about a foot or two in front of him. And he ended it off by running to the side of the house. Now let's quickly put this together in post. So the first thing you'll need is a shot of the house on the timeline. Say you forgot to get the shot, I just pretty much took a freeze frame shot where Derek wasn't in front of the house and used that. Then we're going to look for the part where your subject is crouched down just right before they stand up. And we're going to place that above the first clip. Next you're going to look for the draw mask tool in the effects tab and drag that on the top clip. Start placing the key points around the upper portion of the house. I suggest zooming in to about 200% to ensure that your masking is precise, which will make the edit look way better. Once you're done that, skim through to the part where the subject is above the house during the jump. You can then blade off at that point and delete the draw mask tool on the second half of that clip. Now we're going to highlight all the clips, right click and create a compound clip. It was really nice to be shooting outside again, even though it just took about 15 minutes to shoot the whole thing. I was hoping to shoot on a day that was just overcast or just really really cloudy with a little bit of snowfall. But it's kind of tough to shoot in your ideal weather sometimes, unless I really want to wait it out, but that could take forever. And this is where Storyblocks always comes in and saves the day. So like I said, I wanted to shoot this when it was snow. It didn't have to be a snowstorm or anything, just a little bit of flurries to add more movement to the video that we were creating. But when it got to this place, it was just partly cloudy and we had no snowfall at all. 
So Storyblocks has a ton of snow overlays that I was able to play around with to see what would work better with what I was putting together. And since they have over a million royalty free assets included in their affordable subscription plans, it made the whole process a lot easier being able to grab assets from Storyblocks, placing it on my project, and trying it out to see if it works with what I'm currently doing. And of course if it doesn't, I just hop on Storyblocks again and try different assets until I find the right one. And that's because with Storyblocks Unlimited All Access Plan, you get unlimited downloads of anything in their library. And if I didn't have this option, I would probably just wait it out until I got the ideal weather that I was hoping for. But honestly, living in Canada, you just never know what type of weather you'll get. It can be raining one minute and snowing the next. Land there, I just, just want to get your... Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. So I like creating these type of tutorials for my audience and viewers as it's really fun to create plus it gives me a chance to connect with other people and involve them in my videos as well. It's just nice to have that human connection instead of just being alone in the office and shooting everything on my own. I'm super grateful to have a small office to create like this one I have right now but it's definitely nice to have other people involved when possible. Yeah. Can I do one more? It's getting pushed around by the wind. Is it? Yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. And also visit storyblocks.com slash how I made this to learn more.